Yeah, I thought I'd just uh, share my sort of feelings and thoughts about just what's going on at the club. I mean, you just think after some good news, it's going to continue, right? You just hope and hope. I've got to say, with the outstanding last week, 9-0, one of the best wins, one of our best victories since, what, 122 years it was. And yeah, it slumped right down again because it's come to news now that Mr. Dai has fucking forgot to pay tax again or has refused to. Whatever he's doing, it's a joke. And not to go too hard on him, I mean, he deserves it, but like, to talk about my sort of story of reading MC and everything, like, uh, I mean, I'm 24 and I've been supporting them for, what, seven years now, so since I was about 17, 18, and if you could do quick maths, you can tell um, that's when Mr. Dai actually took over the club. So uh, I've been in it since he's been here, so uh, I do feel like a bad bird in it. <laughs> I feel like kind of superstitiously if I stop going to the games or whatever, stop supporting Reading, then hopefully he'll fuck off, but... um. That probably won't be the case, will it? But yeah, I've been um kind of just in this shit, really. I mean, I was there on the playoff final and unfortunately we lost. I mean, I don't think that was his fault, of course. But ever since, it's just been shit for us. We've had that one season when, you know, everyone had to stay inside so they couldn't actually go to the games. But we were close on a playoff place then um, and just held short under Panovic, I think it was. But apart from that, it's just been terrible for us. We've been stuck in relegation battles. We've just been outside of them. We've finally been relegated and that's, you know, all down to a point deduction. Where's that point deduction come from? That bastard die young. It just gets really difficult to just sort of, you know... Be excited for the game coming, you know, because it feels like in between that sort of space between each game is just always horrible, sad news about the club. And it's just, what's next, man? What's next? Is the EFL going to suddenly be like, oh, now, unfortunately, you've got no funds, so therefore you can't actually play games? Or, I mean, oh, sooner or later, I mean, things can go a click, you know, it, it could all go to shit. And that's the, that's the worrying thing, you know, the longer the owner seems to just have no communication or letting anyone know what's doing, all we've had is, but he, he's looking for an investor. But I was like, the fuck is he? Because if he did, he would have done this sooner. How many times have we had point deduction before? We had one the season before last. So it's just, it's not a lesson learned, is it? I mean, he said he would have learned everything, but you got to have advisors, you've got to have people buy us. You know, you got, you got, I mean, where's his money even coming from? Where is it even coming from? You know, how did he even buy the club in the first place? Why is he in debt to not... That means clearly in debt, is what I'm saying, because he'll be able to fucking pay for things. How many times have we been late for wages, late for HMRC payments, and now oh, you can't even pay into the 150% thing that you're supposed to, you know? Assuming that you've agreed to this, because if you hadn't agreed, whatever, then I guess we would have gone to administration. Which is to be out of it, that's probably what we're going to end up doing if he doesn't do anything next. And don't get me started on the CEO, you know? It doesn't just stop at the owner of the day, you know? I think people usually just blame all the owner and that's it you got to think, that step down below is the CEO. Where have we heard from him? I heard from him since fucking what? Was it May? After saying, oh, applaudies for the fans coming and stuff like that. Uh, just so you know, we are going to sign players. We are going to get a manager. Just bear with us. So where's the communication from him? There's been nothing signed off by him, I've seen. And, you know, prove me if I'm wrong. You know, he, he has literally said fuck all. And he's supposed to be the middleman between the fans, I don't know, the club itself to Mr. Dai. And where is he? Probably in China. He's not even in the country, I imagine. I mean, being a fairly new supporter to Reading, and, you know, and sharing my views compared to everyone else, like, you know, on park roles and such. They've way more experience about being a part of the club, but they've attached me straight away. I mean, <laughs> as soon as I got into the stadium, I was hooked. I couldn't wait to get to another game. Uh, as soon as we lost that playoff final, I thought, you know what, season ticket time. And I've been going ever since. And it's just, you know, with all the shit stuff that's happened, I've, I've stuck by it. And that's for a reason. I love this club. I love this club with all my heart because if it wasn't here, I don't know what would happen. You know what I mean? If buts and wins be this sort of thing. But, you know, time to be a bit honest, really. It's just, yeah, I've had my mental health struggles throughout the years. And what's one of the things that's kept me going is going to football, you know, just watching a team, um, just being passionate about something, not necessarily talking to lots of people, not that sociable, but being around people would we have one thing in mind, and that's support the team and, you know, back the boys, make some noise and all that stuff. And yeah, nah, it's hard to get the words out really now, but it's, it's so upsetting. It's so upsetting with how we are right now. And it's just, like I said earlier, it's just, you're just waiting for that just drop of like, ready and see, I've gone to liquidation and see it ceased to exist. We've seen it so many times in football in England, like sort of Bury FC and Derby being on the brink of it, you know, just literally clubs that will go extinct. And yeah, you just don't want your club to be that. And it's just looking that way. And we just need to pull your finger out, mate. You really do die young. All right, uh, to wrap this up then. Um, yeah, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Um, yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments about this all. And let me know if you, um, let me know how long you've been supporting Reading. And uh, yeah, let's try to share some positivity around the place because it's, it's fucking hard, isn't it? One last thing, see on the screen here, um, sell before we die campaign people, not sure what to call them, I put this post out. Uh, so wearing all black for the game coming. And uh, obviously if you have tennis balls, bring them in for home. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do my best if I'm black. Feel a bit off, not wearing kits. I usually wear kits every game. 
um, but maybe underneath, eh? I'm not sure. But I'm definitely going to wear black. So, uh, yeah, hopefully we get plenty of people at the game and, again, have that same collectiveness that we had against Bolton. And, yeah, fingers crossed, eh? Let's see what can happen next. Hopefully he pays the fucking wages this month. All right, that's been my thoughts. I'll see you guys next time.